everybody. Welcome back to Louisiana Homestead. Today we're going to be making some zucchini bread. We're going to be putting some walnuts on top of it and we're going to make two loaves of it. So stick with me and we're going to get right into the ingredients. We're going to do a half cup each of white sugar and light brown sugar. So let's get those in first. Next, we're going to do one egg and a third of a cup of vegetable oil. All right, we're going to mix this up. Okay, so that's what that's going to look like. In a separate bowl, we're going to do our self-rising flour, and to that we're going to add some spices. We're going to do a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of ginger. Also, we're going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of cloves and a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. So let's get that combined. Okay, there's our cup of flour. A half a teaspoon of cinnamon half a teaspoon of ginger, a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a quarter of a teaspoon of cloves. I'm going to combine these together and then I'm going to add it with our other ingredients that we mixed in the other bowl and we're also going to add our zucchini, just some frozen zucchini. Okay, we're going to go back to our wet ingredient bowl and we're going to mix in some of the zucchini with it. We froze some fresh zucchini back in the summertime. This is it here. We're about to mix that into our wet ingredient. So let's do that now. This is two cups of shredded zucchini. Okay, we're just going to add that right in. You can see it has some of the, it looks like water, but it's actually the juice from the zucchini because when you freeze it like that, a lot, it does pull some of the water out of it when it thaws out. Sorry about all the noise, guys. So we're going to mix that in uh, to our egg mixture and sugar that we had mixed earlier. There's some oil in there too, y'all see when I put that in. Okay, so that is plenty, plenty moist looking to me. We're going to add our flour right into it that has the ginger and cinnamon and cloves and nutmeg in it. I'm going to mix that in. Get it combined pretty good there. It is going to be kind of thick like you see. That's what we want. Perfect. So now I'm going to chop up some walnuts that's going to go on top of the loaves. So let me get that chopped up real quick. We're going to chop up about a cup. This is some beautiful walnuts that was given to me by my Aunt Genevieve. And it was very generous of her because these walnuts, they, um... They're not very cheap. I seen some in the store the other day, and I'm going to say they were maybe like $15 for a pound of them. So it was very generous of her to give me these walnuts. I'm going to get these chopped up and into a bowl, and I'll be right back. Okay, you can see how I got these chopped kind of fine. They're not, some of them are a little big still, but that's okay. We like them like that. It's going to go, I'm about to get my loaf loaf pans out and pour some oil into them about a teaspoon of oil in the bottom of each one and then we're going to get our batter into it and sprinkle the walnuts on top and then we'll get them into the oven okay i'm going to get these covered 
try to get the sides as well. These aren't going to be real tall. They're not going to be that deep, so I don't need to come all the way to the top with my oil. Let's get this in. get a scraper and get the rest of that out of there and then I sprinkled my walnuts right on top of each loaf and it's just some finely chopped walnuts about a half a cup of walnuts on each one now they're gonna go into the oven for about 30 minutes and then I'll check them the oven is gonna be set to 350 and I think they'll probably be done but we're gonna give them a check in 30 minutes I'm gonna set my timer Gonna use this little small oven right here that way I don't heat the whole kitchen up and these little pans fit right in there and I wanted to show y'all my um, cabbage and my broccoli that was just picked look at the size of this head of cabbage that is a nice, big, fresh cabbage. Look at that, how big it is. It's going to be very sweet and good. Looking forward to it. I'm going to cook these tomorrow, too. I'm just going to steam them. So I'm looking forward to that as well. I hope you all subscribe to my channel because this is a new channel. And I want to keep doing all kinds of stuff and bringing you all along with me. But I need to know that y'all are enjoying the content. So please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the things we're doing. And the things that you do like, let me know that you want to see more of those things. And I'll try to include more of those things in my videos. So thank y'all for watching. I sure appreciate it. I hope y'all having a good day out there. Thank you, Aunt Genevieve. Thank you for the walnuts. I'll have to bring you a piece of this zucchini bread with these walnuts on it. These were done in 30 minutes and my husband ate a whole loaf by himself. Thanks for watching and remember, you never can go wrong doing what's right.